there's a new transition effect in Rad Studio XE3 called the swipe transition effect. Let's take a look at an example. Here's the swipe transition effect component. It has several properties. It has a bitmap for the back of the swipe transition. We'll see that in action. Also the target bitmap that is going to be the underneath image that will show up when the swipe transition takes place. And this is associated with our image, which is the image on this application example of the jellyfish that we're going to apply the swipe transition to. So the transition depth or the amount of the curl is a percentage from 0 to 100. We can enable it. In this case, it's enabled. What I've done is I have an event handler where I click on the image to cause the animation. And we're going to use a path animation to move the curl of the swipe transition from the left side to the right side. So it's going to do a path animation from 0, 0 to the form width. And it's going to do it over some duration, in this case one second, and we'll start the path animation. When the path animation finishes, we'll simply have a new bitmap as part of the transition target, and we can move from there. The swipe transition effect mouse point is going to be from the big zero zero as if I clicked on the left hand side. And so the path animation will start and then as it's processing will continue the swipe transition effect by setting the mouse point. So let's take a look at this in action. Here's our application with the jellyfish or in this case the uh, koala bear. We'll click and notice the swipe transition starting from zero zero the upper left hand corner in this case and peeling all the way across. You can set whichever corner you want for the swipe transition and then the ending point. So it could be any of the four corners. In this case, you saw that I used the mouse point to start the swipe transition as zero, 00, so the upper left hand corner. So whenever I click, it's going to peel from the upper left to, to the ending point, which is over here on the right hand side or the full width of the form. The new swipe transition effect also works on Macintosh in your Delphi and C++ Builder applications. So we'll add the target platform OS X, and now we can build it for Macintosh and run it. So we can just peel through the different images on the Macintosh. Here's another example of using the swipe transition effect. This example is going to allow me to use the mouse to grab any of the four corners, depending on where I do the mouse down and reveal or do the swipe transition effect uh, in different directions. And the way that happens is on the image, I've got a mouse down, a mouse move, and a mouse up event handler. Let's look at the code for each of these. When I do the mouse down, we'll get the point where the mouse done occurs. And then inside of mouse move, we'll set the corner point equal to that original corner. And we'll set the mouse point, which is where the mouse currently is, as we're moving the mouse along the way. And we'll use that to do the swipe transition, or in a sense, the peel effect on the image. And then when we do a mouse up, we'll stop the gesture in action. So let's take a look at this example. Grab the corner and peel down and see the picture underneath. Grab a corner and peel down. Each of the corners. And to do that, I put the jellyfish in the image, and then in the swipe transition effect, we put the back bitmap, also a jellyfish, and the target underneath, which is the koala bear. So setting those properties in the swipe transition effect allows us to peel and reveal an image underneath. And that's the swipe transition effect that's new in XE3.